Hey guys, um, just quickly, uh, a little bit tired, fell asleep before on a couch, uh, need to get some sleep. Got 49 pull-ups to go, then I'm going to brush my teeth, and z z z z z. Hey guys, that's all. Uh, actually, now I'll talk a little bit more in a second, uh, just wait one second. Okay, so I'll tell you about one little ED experience and um, well, I'll give it a quick summary and then I'll go into a little bit more detail in my voiceover and that's all. So pretty much uh, at work, I have been bitten, bitten multiple times um, by young people, old people, male, female, doesn't matter, I've been bitten. I'll tell you a little story um, after this break. No, like during the voiceover and stuff. That's all. Uh, old guy biting me. Yep. Yes. Look, I decided to change my mind and I'm not going to tell you about the old man biting me because I don't know that that's really that exciting. I'm going to tell you about the um, lady who may or may have been on meth. Um, punching me in the ED. Let's go with that. Yep, that is pretty much what happened. Um, I was not in triage, but this patient went, tried to escape, essentially. I was, um, I walked out into our triage area, there's some, into the waiting room, where I was just looking for another patient, and um, I knew that there was a code black going on, but yeah, it didn't really bother me. This lady was just trying to escape. Um, she was under something called an inpatient treatment order, where essentially she's um, required to stay in the healthcare facility and get treatment um, for um, her mental health or get assessed by a psychiatrist, essentially. Um, she tried to escape. She ran. Um, I walked out to look for one of my patients. Um, standing there, you know, I was the only person standing there for some reason. Um, she started running towards me, and then she she put her fist up and threatened me. I was like, oh, no, she don't, she's not going to hit me, you know. It's just, just trying to play, trying to threaten me and scare me a little bit. Oh, all right. Just stood there, trying to look for my patient, turned my head, and she's still going at me. Then she stood back, went to open the door, wouldn't open, turned around, looked at me again, ran straight towards me, punched me straight in the chest. And I said to her, what are you doing, ma'am? Why would you hit someone like that? That's just rude. And she was shocked that, you know, I just stood there and took it. <laughs> um, you know, retrospect, like thinking back on all of this is pretty crazy to just stand there and take a punch. That was, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I probably should have just stepped away. But I was like, no, no, no. I'm just looking for my patient. I, I need to find my patient. Um, he's potentially scared, frightened, shitting himself because this, you know, crazy chick is running around punching people. Um Figured out that she was, I was the only person who she punched in that whole shift. But anyways, um, luckily her punches did not hurt, um, even though she was throwing it with relatively great force. Um, thankfully, she didn't have much weight behind her and um, didn't have any history of boxing. Otherwise, that probably could have hurt a little bit more than it would have um, on that shift. Um I guess what I'm trying to say is, what's my summary for this? Yeah, don't take meth. Um, don't take drugs, guys. That stuff is not great for you. Um, and it can lead you down a pretty shitty life, uh, shitty lifestyle. Um, in Australia, if you get a um, inpatient treatment order placed against you, that can limit you to um, employment, uh, international travel, and a whole array of things. So just consider um, what the consequences before you start taking any fun, illicit um, drugs or alcohol and stuff like that. And yeah, just be responsible for your actions, really. Uh, that's all for now. Oh, look, I, um, I've got Elmo on me and I've got 350 subscribers. Not a lot, but hey, it's still better than nothing. Peace out, guys.